You are welcome to JTEC Academy. We want to share the overview of mechanical power transmission. There are different ways to transmit power and speed within mechanical power transmission technology. Toothed or V-belt drives. Chain drives. Shaft couplings and gear drives. 1. Belt drives. The main purpose of belt drives is to transfer power between two parallel axles by means of a belt. Pulleys, also called belt pulleys, are installed on these axles so the belt may move freely over them. When two pulleys have the same diameter, they will rotate at the same speed. But when one of the axles uses a different diameter than the other axle, the speed will either increase or slow down. The pulleys of a belt drive usually rotate in the same direction. There are three different belt drives, a V-belt drive, a toothed belt drive and a flat belt drive. Types of belt drives. V-belt drive. This drive consists of two or more pulleys with one or several V-shaped grooves on the outside. The V-belt is then tightened over these grooves and when the driver pulley moves, the V-belt ensures that the driven pulley moves along. If the V-belt has not been tightened sufficiently or when the V-grooves have been worn out, the belt may slip. Slippage also occurs when a system is blocked. Toothed belt drive. Toothed belt drives consist of two or more pulleys with teeth molded on the outside, a toothed belt is then looped between the pulleys. The teeth of the belt engage with the teeth of the pulley and transmit movement from one drive to the other. Toothed belt drives usually produce very little backlash which eliminates the risk of slippage. In turn the cost efficiency of the toothed belt drive is higher than its counterparts. Flat belt drive. These are designed for light, duty power transmission and high performance conveying. They are best suited for applications with smaller smaller pulleys and large central distances. Advantages of using a belt drive. Belt drives offer a smooth transmission of power from one component to another over a longer distance. Cost effective, belt drives are highly efficient, 95 to 98 percent. Easy to use and lightweight low maintenance costs long lifespan. Disadvantages of a belt drive. A V-belt drive could be the risk of slippage. The drive is not compact when paired with applications using a high power force. The velocity ratio may vary due to slippage and stretching of the belt. 2. Chain drives. Chain drive make use of two sprockets that are connected through a chain. This chain consists of a series of chain links which then line up with toothed sprockets. The axles run in parallel and the sprockets all rotate in the same direction. Just like the toothed belt drive, the chain drive does not slip and is able to transmit movement over a larger distance. Uses of a chain drive. Used on bike and motorcycle applications, but a chain drive is also often used within the agrarian sector and industrial machines. Power transmission. A chain drive can transmit power, speed and torque, from one part to the next, even in a compact space. Advantages A chain drive cannot slip. Capable of a high speed ratio. Cost effective, low energy loss. Capable of withstanding high temperatures, fluids and dirt easy to install. Disadvantages a chain drive requires more frequent maintenance and is noisier than a belt drive. The chain must be frequently lubricated may show signs of speed fluctuation when using a long chain, particularly when paired with smaller sprockets may cause frequent vibrations. 4. Shaft couplings. Shaft couplings are used for different purposes. 
The primary purpose of a shaft coupling is to transfer power from a driving shaft to a driven shaft. These shafts are in line with one another, unlike the parallel pulleys or sprockets found in belt and chain drives. When the distance between two shafts is larger, it is possible to make use of so-called spacer couplings. Uses of shaft coupling Shaft couplings are used as a connection between two diving components that are in line with one another. In addition to transferring power, shaft couplings also have other purposes, namely high torsional stiffness, accommodates misalignment and mechanical flexibility, absorbs shock and vibrations advantages, low maintenance, high precision throughout the duration of its shelf life. Most couplings can accommodate radial and axial misalignment. Couplings come in vibration cancelling types will function in dirty and corrosive environments. Disadvantages They cannot be used when using a power transmission between parallel axles. 4. Gear drives Gear drives are used to transmit torque or power from one shaft to another, just like other drives. They are also often used to change the rotation direction or the movement angle. Gear drives are used to increase or decrease the torque and range of speed. The drive has an input gear and an output gear, also known as the driving gear and a driven gear. No slip can occur in gear drives. Calculating the velocity ratio. It is possible to calculate the velocity ratio, also known as gear ratio, of a drive. Count the number of teeth on the input gear and the follow gear. The ratio is then determined by the number of teeth on each gear. If the input gear has 20 teeth and the output gear has 10, then your division will be 2 to 1. You will easily be able to determine the velocity ratio through the following formula. Z1XN1 equals Z2XN2. Z1 equals number of teeth of the input gear. N1 equals number of turns of the input gear per second. Z2 equals number of teeth of the output gear. N2 equals number of turns of the output gear per second. Use of a gear drive Gear drives are used when a large transmission of power is to be delivered on a short distance. When a small gear moves a large gear, this creates an increase in power. A large gear moving a small gear will cause an increase in speed though it also decreases the power. Advantages Gear drives are compact and yet provide a large range of speed making them ideal for small spaces. There is no slippage. A consistent velocity ratio. Disadvantages. A gear drive is not qualified for axles with long distances. Not the best solution for high speeds. Maintenance must be done regularly. The gears have to be lubricated often. Noisy at higher speeds. Less economical than belt or chain drives. More gears attribute to the overall weight. Static, little flexibility. The gears will damage easily under impact load. If you like this video, please share, like and subscribe. Thank you.